All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. So in today's episode, um, I did pick up a new battery for the 94. I know many of you guys seen that the 94 was for sale. It is for sale, but um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of guessing now. I don't know if I want to or not. Um, I got a new battery. Hopefully that the car will turn over. I did change a couple of things. I had some used park plugs. I changed out. Uh, I had some uh, used wires that I had that were both better than what was on that car. Uh, I changed them out and um, hopefully the car starts. So, you know, let's keep fingers crossed. I got a new battery. I got everything out of the way in case it does so then we can move it into the garage. Um, but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed, guys. Let's go. All right, we have the 1994 Toyota MR2. This is um, the OEM Plus build if I don't sell it. So uh, for those of you guys are interested, uh, now, if the car runs, the price is definitely going to be more. Uh, the car currently wasn't running, and the car was set uh, to a price of seven thousand, seven thousand. But um, that was for a non-running car. And at this point, if this car runs, the price is going to definitely be different. And I won't even know if I really want to sell it then at that point, um, because then I can move it myself and drive it. So, um, guys, uh, I don't know, man. Let's let's hope for the best. I did get a fresh um, a fresh battery on this thing. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, with the fresh battery, this thing will start and crank at least. Um, and it, it did crank before. Don't get me wrong. It did crank. This car ran prior to, uh, it sitting for a couple years and a couple I'm meaning four. Um, so I, I mean, by all means, it, it, this, if it starts running, it's going to be running rough and it kind of was running rough before anyway. So with, uh, all that said and done, um, I'm going to put you guys on the camera stand and hopefully this uh, bad boy starts and uh, give it a go. So let's go. Running. Well, at this point, what I figured is that I was going to just make it drive over the hump and notice that I needed to put some 2x4s there because if not, the car was not going to make it. So I'm just going to fast forward you through this really quick. If you hear it really well, you kind of notice kind of a misfire, which almost sounds like a Jetsons car. If you really listen to it, it's like choo 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 choo. It's almost like a little chirp. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you guys all seen, she ran, guys. So I'm super excited that she ran. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, the car does run. So that kind of changes things for selling it. I don't think I want to sell it anymore. But if I do now, the price is definitely going to be more. Um, the car, by all means, is not running 100% but it, it's running now so there is a running 94 uh, Toyota MR2 uh, with 260,000 miles um, the car otherwise seems a pretty solid candidate for just about any swap um, the transmission shifts pretty buttery still and mind you this is stuff that uh, the fluids haven't even been changed or anything yet I, I really don't want to run the car like that so uh, by all means I mean I'm probably gonna have to invest a little bit of money into it and get it running right or even getting running at least 100 and if that happens then the price obviously is going to change the price is going to change now but also you know if i start tinkering with it and getting it looking even more presentable the price will definitely go up but this is super exciting because now now guys we're going to have some fun with this car because if i'm going to end up keeping it you know what i'm going to do this is the oem plus build so